Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I was cleaning my parking spot and uh, I contemplated really cool messages that I wanted to share. So as in the winter as we drive, the snow that's attached to the car or sticks to the car and the tires in that area, we usually think is just snow. But in the meantime, a lot of soil, like sand and a lot of salt, mixes with all that mess. So as we park our cars on our spots and the snow chunks fall off, the water moves on, but the soil stays. And if you look at the human body and how it's made and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about spirituality and the hadith talks about uh, what religion is. And Nabi Sassam says the religion that I have brought is like the rain or I think he says the water. Uh, the rain or the water so spirituality has this nature of being called water and the very base human is like the soil so many times the soil keeps us grounded and doesn't let us move and the water part of us the spiritual part of us wants to move on so even in the this example that i gave of the snow the water moved on but the soil stayed and that's what we have to clean up. So I'll show you the spots where my four wheels touch the ground. There's a big chunk of sand just sitting there. I cleaned the other three spots already, but this is the fourth spot. I have a bit of a broom here and a snow shovel. Mm -hmm, right here. I'm literally... So that is the grime or whatever that piled up there. And then, so what we need to learn is that what part of me is the spiritual part, the, the habits that I have, the spiritual thoughts that we have, that's like the water part of us. And the grimy, the part of us that's very materialistic in nature, that wants to stick to dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about when a person is not willing to go forward in the way of Allah, Allah asks the, a question, uh, that you have weighed yourself down to the ground. So we need to really make sense of our life and see how attached we are to dunya and also connect with the spiritual part of us that wants to flow and get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and distance ourselves from our sins. So I hope that was meaningful to you and it really uh, reverberated with you. And uh, I had another example. I'm almost embarrassed to share, but I love to clutter up my life with things that I think I will use. So I'm not a garbage collector, but I am a clutter collector. So look at my spot behind my car. Mashallah. It's like half a gym and uh, half of a clothing that I'm supposed to, is brand new clothing, so I'm using it as my storage for good new clothing that I'm supposed to be selling, although it's kept clean in nice containers. But anyways, the point is, we also clutter our lives and our living spaces with things that, that take up so much space that it suffocates us. So we always have to reconsider where am I going with my life and how much clutter do I have in my mind and in my soul that I need to clear up. So I hope that helps others. May Allah give us tawfiq to think very clearly about our lives.